I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. If the letter to the Laodiceans was found, would it become part of the Bible? Now, some of you may be asking, what letter to the Laodiceans? That's not my table of contents. It's not my New Testament. In the book of Colossians, which, by the way, was toward the end of the Apostle Paul's life, there is an allusion to his communication with the Laodiceans. We know that Laodicea was an actual church mentioned in the book of Revelation chapter 3. So we have the setting for the possibility that much like he wrote to the church at Corinth, to the church at Ephesus, the church at Thessalonica, that there was communication with the church at Laodicea as well. Here's where I think it gets important is we know that the Apostle Paul wrote what we have in Scripture. But do we really believe those are the only believers he communicated with? I, I believe the Apostle Paul had numerous congregations, numerous people, but the Lord inspired and preserved what we have, much like the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, a simple study, or even a Google search will tell you there are, quote, other Gospels that were out there, but they weren't inspired and they weren't preserved. At the very end, the first Thessalonians, or first Thessalonians chapter five, the apostle Paul, this is his first letter. He implores them to read it to the congregation. I think this is critical because in his quote, Jewish background, you never read anything in the synagogue that was not scripture. I think he knew that God was giving him what we today call scripture when he wrote to the church at Thessalonica. I think per the question, his communication with the Laodiceans, he probably knew, hey, I'm just uh, fellowshipping with other believers or encouraging them, whatever it may be. So to answer the question, I do not think that we have to add a 67th book to our Bible if the quote letter were ever to be found, because though it may have been communicated by a person God used to give a scripture, it doesn't mean everything he wrote was scripture. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.